one. As Deontay Wilder's warned by Marichiro Suleiman, that is the WBC president, that his career will be over if he loses to Tyson Fury again. And let's quickly get to a quick quote that he said at the bottom here. So that Wilder in particular is a very is very proud. He uh, he lost. He knows he lost, but he has everything to win. Nothing more to lose. If he loses again, it's okay because he already lost. All he has all he has is to go and make it and win. Otherwise, his career is over. So, those are the words of Marisha Suleiman, obviously the WBC president, as I said. Now, you know a lot of people, especially these days, are always talking about if you lose, then your career is over. And this one, people said that about AJ as well. If after AJ lost to Andy Ruiz, if AJ comes back and loses to Andy Ruiz, his career is over. For me, I don't believe that just because even if I don't think even if you lose twice in a row, your career is over. Because losses that losses all it does is just reduce your stock. It doesn't necessarily mean your career is over. Deontay Wilder, you know. If he can't, let's just say for, for for argument's sake, he was to he, he was to lose to Tyson Fury in the trilogy, and it was a shootout, and he dropped Fury twice, and somehow Fury was able to win. I don't think a, 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 a fight like that from Deontay Wilder would warrant to say that his career is over. You know, I believe a loss. If he was to lose the same way that he lost in the rematch, you know, I think that would heavily reduce Deontay Wilder's stock. I think it would be difficult, you know, for Deontay Wilder to find, you know opponents that really want to take him on because it's this is risk reward stuff Deontay Wilder is still dangerous would a lot of these guys want to take on Deontay Wilder you know a dangerous man who could potentially knock them spark out you know with a reduced stop Deontay Wilder and a, a Deontay that's with no WBC belt would, would would regular guys want to you know take him on like let's say a Charles Martin take him on you know without without a Deontay without having the, him having a belt I highly doubt it I think a lot of them would just want to stay on the course, you know. They would never want to use Deontay Wilder <laughs> as a fight just to make money. Especially if they're on course to, you know, rankings in the, for world titles in the IBF, WBO, WBA and, you know, ABC titles, you know. I think it would be quite difficult. Unless somehow, if Deontay Wilder, for example, was to lose but then he put on a good show. Let's say he dropped Fury twice. Let's say he, he delivered the performance like he did in the first fight. But then he ended up losing in a 12 rounds decision. I think Deontay Wilder will still have respect. Because at least they'll say he improved. He came back. He dropped three twice. And he, he had a much better performance. I think his stock will still be... He'll go down. But he'll still be in decent tact. Compared to if he got knocked out. In devastating fashion. Or he got beat like he did in the rematch. So I don't think that Deontay Wilder's career will be over. Uh, it, it just depends on the nature of, if, if, of his loss. If he was to lose to Tyson Fury in the in the trilogy but a lot of people are so quick to jump on your careers over and this that and the other you know because i think floyd Melva really set the he set the gold standard in terms of your of fighters keeping their o so once you lose your o everyone just jumps up and says oh it's good oh the career's over and this that and the other this is heavyweight boxing this isn't world weights where you know knockouts don't happen as much this is heavyweight boxing you're more likely to get o as a heavyweight to get a loss on your record as heavyweight than in the welterweight division any of these other divisions unless you're fighting guys that can really bang in that division you know with power but Deontay Wilder's career over if he loses nah I don't think so Deontay Wilder's still an exciting fighter it's just that he's taking on this is when you're listen when you're on the top level of boxing yeah you're gonna you're, the, the top guys are gonna meet eventually and then one of them's gonna have to take a L so you can't just say the guy who takes the L his career's over because he took an L. You know? And for Deontay Wilder, I think this, you know, obviously nobody wants to he he, he probably doesn't want to have to be staying at home right now. But him staying at home right now might actually be a blessing in disguise. Because it'll give him more time to calculate his thoughts, think about what he wants to do, you know, talk with his team. They're probably on Zoom like everyone else is on Zoom or whichever way they're, got, they're on the phone, conference, calling, whatever they're talking. But it gives him more time to really think about what he wants to do. Think about his, his loss. Watch the footage over and over again. See what he did wrong. You know, rather than jump into a trilogy straight in July without having much time for recuperation. I think he even said in, the, in his podcast on PBC that he was dealing with a bicep injury. 
they would be so quick to jump straight into a trilogy in July, which would just be, I think this might, this time off is actually, you know, a blessing in disguise for Deontay Wilder in terms of resting up, getting his mind back or uh, back on track in terms of his psychology after his loss. And at the same time, some of the statements that Deontay Wilder has been coming out with, a lot of people don't actually understand what he's talking about. He's been talking about Fury is not the real champion and it was a zombie and he's coming out of all these statements that he's been saying. These are statements, in my opinion, that he's, it's a psychological, you know, it's a psychological, he's psychologically trying to build himself up. You have to, he's conditioning his mind to, to believe that what happened really, really wasn't what it was. Whether that is a good thing for him to think like that remains to be seen. But he doesn't, you don't want to go into a trilogy against someone like Tyson Fury thinking you got knocked down, you got banged up. You need to go in there with confidence. You need to go in there with the mentality of a champion, even though you're not a champion. And that's why I think Deontay Wilder is trying to achieve. He's been talking to George Foreman. George Foreman told him he needs to see the title as a vacant title. And when Deontay Wilder said, Fury is not the real champion. I think he's using the, the the advice from George Foreman as part of his psychology. And speaking of George Foreman, I think that's a very good addition to Wilder's team. Uh, if, if, it, if, it's, if it's officially confirmed, former heavyweight champion, you can punch like Deontay Wilder. Different styles because, De because George Foreman's a bit slower, wasn't as explosive, wasn't as athletic. Had this weird unorthodox kind of, you know, way he used to fight. But in terms of being both big punchers who relied on their power... You know, I think that's a good move, especially George Foreman that came back age 45 and knocked out Michael Mora in devastating fashion. You know, a, a lot of people didn't expect George, people expected George Foreman to get banged up because of how old he was. The same way people are expecting Deontay Wilder to get banged up. Can Deontay Wilder come back, spoil the apple card and knock Tyson Fury, spark out? Remains to be seen, but can Deontay Wilder beat Tyson Fury? Deontay Wilder can beat Tyson Fury. In my opinion, if he makes the, makes the right adjustments, whether he can make those adjustments remains to be seen. He needs to learn how to disguise his right hand a bit more because Tyson Fury has learned how to really, you know, you kind of he, he knows when Deontay Wilder is going to telegraph that right hand. You know, Deontay, if Deontay Wilder had just a, a little bit, you know, other attributes to his game, a bit more artillery in the tank in terms of things like left hooks, uppercuts, to give Tyson Fury a bit more to worry about, he would have helped him, but obviously his main weapon is his right hand. But if he can get people like obviously George Foreman and these guys, I think he mentioned in his PBC T, PBC podcast, he's bringing in two guys, and he sounded like he's going to be bringing in George Foreman. So we can probably put that as a checkbox. One more guy, Deontay Wilder seems to know that he needs a bit of help in terms of being able to, you know, get the game plan and get the sparring and get the training and everything together. In order to beat Tyson Fury, because he can beat Tyson, nobody's unbeat, un, nobody's unbeatable. You know, a lot of the fanboys coming out talking about Deontay definitely cannot win the trilogy. Like, there's no such thing as definitely cannot win the trilogy. Otto Wallin nearly beat Tyson Fury. Did did anyone think Otto Wallin could beat Tyson Fury? Look, Tyson Fury got cut. Anything can happen in heavyweight boxing. Andy Ruiz beat An Anthony Joshua. Who thought Andy Ruiz was going to beat Andy Joshua in the first fight? Nobody. Nobody expected Andy Ruiz to beat Anthony Joshua. Who expected, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Dylan White to beat Joseph Parker the way he beat Joseph Parker. Nobody expected Dylan White to beat Joseph Parker in that manner. To bully him around the ring and that kind of thing. Nobody, did, nobody expected Anthony Joshua to knock out uh, Vladimir Klitschko in as spectacular fashion as he did found the uppercut somewhere rocked him and stopped him around 11 nobody nobody expected that to happen so nobody expected Manny Pacquiao to come back you know and beating all these young guys beating uh what's what you what's his name uh Keith Furman beating Adrian Broner these are younger guys he's come back the senator they call him he's come back beating this guy so anyone ruling out people ruling out fighters saying that it's impossible for them to win absolute nonsense so drop your comments in the comment section below do you think what do you think about Montreal Silliman WBC president saying that Deont Deontay Wilder if he loses his career will be over do you think Deontay's career will be over if he loses the trilogy do you think Deontay Wilder will find that right hand long range right hand 
pinpoint Tyson Fury's chin, detonate his chin, and put him to sleep? Or do you think T Tyson Fury will bring up, bring the bring the rematch performance and, and finally beat Deontay Wilder, ending this saga? Drop your comments in the comment section below. What do you guys think, guys? Cool.